What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Structure 2024 for your design. Okay, so this video, I'm going to show you how to extend our structure up to the roof level. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to open my 0 to floor. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select here tile views or I can also type wt that's the shortcut for tile view so that i will be able to see my view side by side so i have a 3d view on the right side and my floor plan on the left side okay so i'm going to copy elements here on my floor plan and then i'm going to copy that and uh, i'm going to paste that to zero two uh, zero three floor and then the roof level Okay, so I'm not going to copy this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a window selection by holding my left click somewhere here at the top uh, left corner of the building. So hold my left click and then drag that all the way here on the southeast part of the building. Okay, and then after that, release the left click. And there you go. So I just selected these elements. But I do not want to copy all of these elements. So that's why I'm going to use this option here, filter. So I'm going to filter out elements that I only want to copy. So I do not want to copy here the grids. And also I do not want to copy the shaft openings and walls. Alright, so that is, I can copy it. Well, uh, no, not the elevation. I do not want to copy the elevation view. So now I have the floors, span direction symbol, structural beams, columns, framings, views, no need. So I'm going to uncheck that one. All right. So these are the elements, checked elements that I want to copy to my 0, 3 floor and roof level. So I'm going to select here, OK. There you go. So it's now selected properly. So to copy it, I'm going to go to the clipboard panel and then you can see here the copy to clipboard icon. So you can click that and then after that, you see the paste drop down here. So you can click that drop down and then you can select here align to selected views. So if you click that one, it will allow you to select the views where you want to copy the elements from the zero to floor. So obviously, like what I have said earlier, we're going to copy that on 0, 3 floor and then hold co uh, hold control and then click roof as well to select both. Okay. And then after that, just select here. Okay. So let's just wait. Look here on the 3D view and voila. Okay. So it's now copied. Now, what I want to do is I want to do some modification on my floor. So I do not want to have this edge here on the third floor or on the roof level and then the third floor. I do not want that. Okay, so that's why what I'm going to do is on 0, 3 floor, I'm going to open this. All right, and then I'm going to select the floor here which is this one, right? So let's click that floor. Okay, so let me close this 0, 3 floor. Oh, by the way, I want the 0, 3 floor. So I'm going to close the 0, 2 floor. There you go. So there's my 0, 3 floor and then 3D. Again, I'm going to select tile views so I can see the 3D as well. So here on the 0, 3 floor, I'm going to select this floor. Just click that one. And as you can see here on my 3D view, it's now highlighted. So going back here on my floor plan, I'm going to edit the floor. So how to edit the floor? So after you select it, look for the mode panel and then there's the edit boundary. So you click the edit boundary and then you are now here on the sketch mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a window selection to delete these lines. Select and delete. And also I'm going to select this line here and then I'll delete that one as well. Now, for the profile, so make sure it's close, no intersection, no overlapping. So this is the profile of our floor, right? So make sure it's close. So to close that, I'm going to the, I'm going to use trim extend to corner. So let's click that one and then let's click this line here and then let's click the other line here to connect. 
there you go so it's now close and then I'll just select here modify all right okay so after that so we can now select here check to finish edit mode so just select that one and there you go so it's now modified so as you can see here so here's my third floor level okay so we will be doing that one as well in our roof level so let's go to the roof double click the roof floor plan i'm gonna close the zero three floor and then tile the view again so there's my roof floor plan and then here's my 3d view so i can also select here so i'm going to select this one and it will be selected here as well on my floor plan so i'm going to pan here to activate my roof view and then after that so let's select here edit boundary so let's click that all right so same procedure so let's select that one delete select this delete and i'll just connect it using trim extend to corner let me click click there you go and let me just do some more uh, additional modification here on uh, on my roof level so i'm going to delete this delete and then connect because this is already roof level so i'm going to connect this connect that escape and then delete delete there you go all right and then after that so we are now ready to finish this so finish edit mode there you go okay so basically that's how you extend it so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is you see these floor uh, walls here so i'm going to extend this one as well up to the roof okay so we already copy all the floors up to our roof and then this time you see these walls that we have here so these walls here so we are going to extend that up to the roof okay so to do that let me just go to the zero one entry level here okay so i can't select it here properly so that's why what i'm gonna do is i'll just do it in the 3d view so let me go to the 3d view and then i'm going to maximize it by selecting tab views or you can type tw for shortcut there you go so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to select this wall here click hold control click that one click that one all right and then after that let us go to the properties let's look for the top constraint so instead of up to level 0 2 floor so let's click the drop down arrow here change that to up to level roof so click that and there you go so it's now extended okay so i'm going to do that here as well so i click this hold control click click and then after that change the top constraint change up to the level roof there you go all right so there you have it so as you can see this floor here the thickness of that is six inches right so if you want to have a nice uh, connection of your wall to your roof i'm going to change an offset constraint here the base the the top constraint of my wall here so i'm going to select this hold control so basically we're going to select again the walls hold control that one and then i'm going to change the top offset constraint so if this is six inches i'm going to change this to uh, minus six inches minus six inches so i want the top uh part of your wall to go down minus six inches so that it's just under your level here the floor so that it's clean see right so it's now so there's no overlapping like this one okay so we are going to do that here as well so let's click this click hold control click pan your drawing hold control click 
all right and then after that let's change the top offset minus six inches enter there you go so it's now clean so it's just under your roof floor there you go so basically this is how you do it so this is how you extend your structure up to the roof so hopefully you learn something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day